What are we doing today, Gaster? We are riding my dream bike. It is a 1290 Super Duke. I'm absolutely in love with the looks and the sound, but I've never tried one out. And the Supermoto, because you've got to love a Supermoto. Who doesn't love a Supermoto? Sexier. Yeah, sexier. I've got to say, it's a lot slimmer than I thought. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look like a 1290. Let's go this uh, to the... BP, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is my first time on a Super Duke. This sounds lovely. This is uh, this is very different for me though. The, the foot pegs and everything are completely in a totally different area. I can't believe how smooth this is. Whoa. Oh my God. This is... Uh, Totally different experience, it feels so weird. So weird? Yeah, it feels so weird. I'm so used to my feet being so far back on the sports bike that I keep missing the foot pegs. I'm putting my feet so far back that I'm almost kicking the wheel. These handlebars feel a little bit smaller, closer together, but the position of the bike is lovely. Very, very nice, very balanced. God, this, this reminds me of my 17 year old days on the old KMX 125R. This is the same sort of position. I feel a bit like I'm sitting on it though, rather than with it, you know. I thought this was going to be like really scary to ride. Uh, it's a lot easier to ride at low speed than I thought it would be. I really, I really like this. I like the noise, the, the feel of it. I mean, it's obviously not the power that you've got on a sports bike. But... Oh my good God, it's an animal. got the vibration in the handlebars it's very uh, tickly this uh, feels so much better on the front end than mine I'm really liking the way this rides this goes this goes around the corners like it's a brown darling even for this kind of bike oh look at you go must be something about the way the KTM ride because the 790s when we tried those were really good to ride good fun stable planted it This has got so much more, it's ridiculous. <laughs> this is great fun, this would be awesome around Spain. I bet. Does it feel better with the lower seat? Because the seat's lower on this new model. Yeah, it definitely is. Remember when I tried the old one out and I said to you it scares me a little bit because it's so tall, I have trouble like putting my foot down. You can't reach, can you? Yeah. Just wanted to test that out. Me too! <laughs> <laughs> this street mode is very nice because it feels smooth with the power, but you know that it has a ton of it. The throttle, because I'm used to the MT-09, you reach the end of the throttle on this a lot sooner than I thought you would. Like, you spin it round and it's like, oh, I'm already at the end of the throttle. Yeah, I am pleasantly surprised by the fact that this is the second KTM that I've ridden and both of which are the only two bikes that I've actually got on and thought oh I could actually I could buy one of these oh my god 
I can't believe how nimble this thing is for a 1290. And it feels nice and nice and small. A bit more shape to it, there's a ridge. So I, I feel like there's somewhere I can stick my knee in. Well, whoever said don't ride your uh, dream bikes was a idiot. Why? In case it doesn't live up to what it's like in your head. Nah. Uh. Brakes are pretty good. They should be, they're Brembo, isn't they? Yeah. Well, they are on this anyway. Oh, this is a nice road. It's a bit bouncy, but these bikes are better, better equipped than your... Oh, definitely than my CPR. <laughs> Actually, I feel really comfortable on this, as in, like, I'm not having to slow down the corners like I feel like I need to on the CBR, which is really weird. I feel like this is going to handle the bumpy corners way better than a Reggie would. OK, so what's it like to... I could just about get my feet. Ooh, oh, that's quite tall. This is quite tall. So even for me, I'm still on tiptoes. Um, I'm on tippy toes, yeah. I could, oh, actually, no, I can't. If I want to, I can put my feet flat, but it's not comfortable. Obviously, I'm stretching my legs, so. How are you enjoying it so far? Oh, it's, it's amazing. Oh, dear. Finding neutral is very difficult. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, thanks very much to the guys at uh, Braintree KTM. Jim, Jim Aim, it's, uh, I've always thought it was quite a big bike, but now that you actually see it in the flesh, you realise that it's quite small. Especially for someone like me, I'm 5'8", uh, and I can tippy-toe. 5'8", in, in shoes. <laughs> comfortable, I like, I like where the pegs are, it feels like a, a very nice position to ride in. Well, this sounds much better, obviously. The 1290 sounds better. <laughs> Woo! Okay, but it's not as freaky as the first time they've lowered the seat this uh, this time round. Oh, so this oh oh ah, uh, seating position's a bit weird with your feet behind you here. Ooh, okay, so this is weird. Oh yeah, this is very uh, flighty throttle. Uh, I've been on this for five seconds, and I definitely like the 1290 more. See, I always find these bigger engines for me, and I don't know if it's a personal preference or whether it's a girl thing, but tend to have kind of really light throttles, and you, you know, you've only got to just bounce wrong and, and catch the throttle, and they're dragging you forward like a ah! Although, that said, I have to say, this is probably one of the better ones that I've ridden. It does feel really all together. I, I don't like the way I'm sitting on this bike. I don't, okay, so I'm supposed to sit here, I take it way more forward. There's a lot of engine braking on this bike as well, I've noticed, compared to that. So it's weird with these levers, seriously. Like, odd, very odd. You should try a roundabout though. It goes round a roundabout like it's on rails. You just stick that inside leg out and go round the roundabout. You can tip it with more confidence than, than a sports bike, I feel. I don't feel like I've got anywhere to grip with my legs and stuff. I'm just, ah, it's just, <laughs> you're just sitting on it. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, handles the bumps like nothing. I know, and I'm sitting on this thinking, oh, I'm so disappointed because I don't actually like this. I don't like the way the throttle handles. It reminds me of the Z. I think he's saying no key in range. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, because I've got the key. Right, well, then you need to give me the key. Stop, stop, thank you. No, I was just trying to wheelie. So it's keyless then? Yeah. Well, I can tell you 100% loving that more than this. Oh, I like that. Well, we can swap back if you want. I much prefer that. Yes, let's swap back. Okay, let's swap back. Yay! Yes, so viewers, one for uh, one, one of the things that we differ in opinion on quite often is bikes. It's the only thing actually that we differ in opinion on now a good talking point i suggest is that is that because you're male and i'm female or is it just a personal preference i think the fact that you're taller as well i don't find that as scary as the old 690 because i have tried the old 690 and uh, i found it quite intimidating to be on because being five foot eight it's quite tall but i just feel like i've got because of the position of this nowhere to grip onto i feel a little bit like a bit scary at higher speeds for me whereas with this funny enough the shape you've got that tucked in area and it just feels like i'm in the bike and i'm part of the bike this feels like you better hold on mister 
Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I did initially think that I felt that the the upright position and the seating was a bit like, whoa, but I think that's because I'm used to the sports bike. But after a couple of minutes of riding it, I was like, oh no, this is very nice. And it runs really lovely and it corners really well, really well. I have to say though, the braking on that's awesome. And that's, um, that, you know, that's obviously down to the Brembo's, but. Well, you've got a single cylinder uh, Brembo on the front of this. So, um, obviously this is twin, bigger bike, bigger braking. I love the single-sided swing arm though, it's sexy as hell. It's sexy, it goes well and it sounds great. <laughs> yes, welcome to a realistic review without all the technical jargon. Does it ride well? Does the exhaust smell cool? And does it sound the tits? Yes, yes and yes. So, what do you reckon? Uh, looks wise you think I look better on this or that uh, I didn't really see you on that the 1290 you look good on that you definitely look good on the supermoto you're quite tall Emma's almost six foot tall so she looks quite good on the supermoto and she can pretty much flat foot it can't you mm -hmm. right well this is in sports mode and straight away I can feel the difference the uh, oh honey you should have put it in mode 2 on this oh oh watch out Oh dear, is there someone at Old Police Aware? Christ. Whee! <laughs> yeah, this is uh, a bit more raw in this mode. Oh, same with this one. Instantly you can feel the difference in the throttle sensitivity. Ooh, I didn't want to go in gear then. It was like, <laughs> where are you? Just behind you, just trying to get some uh, footage of you rolling. See you rolling, hate it. There's a bit of squishiness before you get to the breaking point on this lever, but it. But once you do engage it, it's it's all brake. How much? How often do these need uh, servicing as well? Uh, those ones are like a normal bike. They're not like the uh, racing spec ones. I want one. I want a bike garage full of bikes. That has got some f beans on it, I tell you. This doesn't hang around, to be fair, for, a, no, for this sort of bike. Oh god, yeah, that demands respect, I tell you. Oh, it's the sound though, right? How much are these that I want? That is about 8,000 new. I wonder how big the tank is on it. Come on, dude, what are you doing? Fucking hell. A bike over a litre, you'd think, would be uh, a bit more cumbersome, but it really isn't. Doing, doing, ha <laughs> Supermoto. Pleasantly surprised at how light this bike is as well, because even the backing up for me on tiptoe, there's no weight in it, so it's so easy. This is very easy to ride slowly and smoothly, and that's makes me feel comfortable and nice on it but it also has the scare factor when you open the throttle too much and it's so it has that side to it as well that's a bit like you you're a nice comfortable ride until you open the throttle when it's got the scare factor <laughs> whoa <laughs> what? death wish pigeon <laughs> It's all very, very calm and collect until you open the throttle a certain amount, and then it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's too good! I don't want to give it back. And they're going to be like, "You stole it!" No, no, no. I'm really sorry. I just got lost on the way back. Honest. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone gets lost on the way back. <laughs> I like it. I think I'd look cool in. Uh in off-roady kind of gear. Well, I don't want to give it back. No, oh, no, no. This is kind of like what feels like to me an in-between the MT 
10 and the MT-09 as in like... But handling? Yeah, handling wise, because the MT-10 feels heavier and um, a little bit more like super sport, like your bike, it feels way more like planted on the front like that. <laughs> this, thing, this thing is an absolute animal egging me on. Open the throttle a little bit, mate. You know you want to. Yes, you're on a racetrack. You are Rossi. Go for it. That's, that's exactly what it feels like. little gripe is the the clutch lever feels skinny so when I'm pulling it it feels all little and it uh, a bit slippery but the actual feel of the lever itself not the way it works the MT-10 felt sturdier at higher speeds than this does it but this is so much more fun I think you like that whole not not quite sure about it kind of thing you know yeah absolutely that's what I well, that's what I love so much about the MT-09. I want one of these. I want one of these. It's ah, ridiculous. I really thought it was going to be a chunky, sloth-type manoeuvrability, but with lots of power. But it's not. This bike makes me want to take my earplugs out and suffer the consequences. This in, in Mode 2 is a much nicer bike to ride. Mode 1 is a bit boring. All right, so that's got more oomph, has it? Well, I don't even know what um, what one is supposed to be good and one, you know, which which one is which now, because I can't remember what he said. But I feel like it rides more responsively in two. And even the seat, to be fair, is not that uncomfortable. They're like, oh my god, where have you been? <laughs> Steering lock on it or what? This one has you hold the you hold the button and it locks it for you automatically. The, do you know the only thing I'm concerned on, on here, is this bike's got 535 miles on it and these looking grubby already. I'll tell you what I don't like, is, is that, that exhaust I think is disgusting. Oh my God, we thought you'd crashed, we thought you'd died, what's going on? <laughs> I need one, I need one. <laughs>